Hello everyone, this is Mei Lan Xiao from Beijing Chinese Tea Associations in Antwerp. In the last two days, I, every day I do a tea testing of Gu Su Pur, Sen Pur, Fa Wu Liang San. Okay, the, the leaf we, we talk about is really the pure peak. Uh, it's not blended from the different mountains or different seasons. So now we are talking about the pure harvest from the 2019. And uh, yesterday I tasted the number 17 uh, from the 2019 and the first pluck, that's mean before the 1st of April. Um, then yesterday Sven asked me what does the number means. The number means, you know, in the forest, the, every tea pickers carry the basket and they pick the leaves in the basket first. And then of course they can, not, it's not possible for everyone to bring the basket back to the station where they process tea. So they will temporarily put the leaves they picked in that region, they have a resp responsible region, and they will first put in the stacking yeah. hole. Yeah. Okay, yeah. hole. Yeah. It's like a little chalet, and yeah. the tea leaves yeah. there. And the number is based on, okay, which number is this? So that will indicate which area the tea was picked. So the, the one I choose today is number 15. Okay, number 15. Also from the 2019, Ming Xian. Okay, that's the first look. Friendly speaking, maybe this tea, the, the, the base of the pour is already sold out. Because don't forget the soap, Gu uh, Su, that's me, ancient tea trees, especially tea trees around 200 years to 300 years old, are very popular and very wanted in China. So sometimes if we decided too late, we will miss it. Okay, but at least we will have a chance to taste it. To eat. Then hopefully uh, next year I will make the decision. With your help, of course. So let's have a look of the number 15, okay? Because the first day, the one I tasted was number four from Yu Qian. Yu Qian, that actually is the second look. Okay, after the, the Qingming, after Qingming, before the rainy season start. Okay, and the, I, the number four is the Yu Qian picking. Actually, the flavor and taste is more assertive. Somehow, the starting from the Ming Qian, I tasted yesterday, and the aroma as well. That is more gentle and soft. Yeah. Okay, more gentle and soft. In order to have the same testing base, so I use the same teaware without changing it. So it will be sure, it's surely is on the same evaluation base. This is a charcoal fired, wood fired teapot. Okay, so after the very high temperature, so basically there's a, also the clay is not the same as easy, so the, the clay is pretty closed. Okay, and the serving pot, I used the one, unfortunately, I broke the taxo. So this one we is now used as a serving pot, the fair tray, the fair serving pot. And the later I will use the cup in the glass, so you can see the color very well. All the leaf, okay, for example, this one, I'm going to pick it up now. Particularly this one, for example, you can see it's hand-picked. And you see the white silver things? Okay, so this can only happen in the spring, first or the second peak, because extreme winter season after it. Okay. As usual, we always first clean and warm up teapot and all the teacups, oh, everything. It does not matter which tea you make. 
you always clean and warm up your teacups. teacups. In a way, it is a way to show respect to tea as well your guests. Now this leaf is so big, okay, it's, it's very fresh but it's very big already, so it's very, really difficult to put it in the, into the, the tea pot. So what I can do is, because I'm, this is the one I, I used the pincer. Because I don't want to break the leaves. Okay. So now the tea leaves in the teapot. As you can see that there are some of it refuse to get in. Don't worry. Once the warm water is in, it gets soft. I'm going to load down the camera so you can see how I do it because my face is no longer important in this case. <laughs> what I will do a little bit different today, actually I'm going to drink, have a taste of the, the first uh, brewing that we made in this tea. And normally we uh, rinse this out, okay? Just to waking up the leaves, but I want to have a taste of the first, first brewing. In the meantime, yesterday the number 17 gave me a very, still very strong the bamboo leaf and pine trees leaves and flavor and the green, okay? Um, but this one is more flora, sweet flora. You know, tea growth from the nature is such an amazing discovery. It's the same tea trees in the same valley where the tea trees are growing. But somehow, they still create a different flavor and taste. Yeah. So you can see the first... The one I just cleans out is very yellow and light yellow and very transparent and clean. Mm. Oh, this one definitely is, the, is for me sweet. I'm not going to waste it. I'm going to serve this uh, infusion to my parent-in-law as well as evil. Then of course I don't forget to filter the first infusions that we're going to officially drink out. Just a second, I'm going to take off the, my head roll. Wow. 
Voilà. En zijn werkje kan je direct al zien. Ja. En die was dus 800. Hè? 800, 800 ja, dat is wel graag. Ja. Ja, ja. Die dingen eraf, dus in 723. Dat is een goed verschil. Hij ja. pakt hoeveel was? 183 euro. 183, ja. Alright, ja, ik kom weer. Oké, ik heb de colors in de serving pot. Ja, ik snap dat ik heb. Ik weet niet of je het kunt zien. Ja, ik kan het zien. Okay, you see a lot of gelatin and the bubbles yeah, on top of it, and even some uh, white substance in there. So this indicates uh, the the touch has been glued. Okay, now we're going to the number seventeen yesterday was good. It, it was good, but compared with the number fifteen, then that might then seventeen is. You know, yeah, stand on the line afterward. Mm. Now we're going to have a taste of the first infusion. You know, the one I just drank is the, just rinsing, right? Because then in this case, the infusion time was really, really short. And uh, the first infusion, then I let it sip in the water for one minute. A little bit more. The color is slightly richer than the first rinsing infusion. Dan uh, moet je dat toch maar die maat geven, die nummer geven, naar ons zoenen een apart stop bestellen om de juiste maat te geven. If I describe number 17 as the bamboo leaves and the pine tree leaves, then this one I would describe as bamboo stem, the body, and uh, also the stem from the pine tree. A little bit more zen, um, more substance. Okay. After the sweet taste, that you would sense of amino acid right away, and even to my teeth. First, I feel the gland stimulation on my gland. And it's rolling back to the beginning of my tongue, okay? But slightly behind, so I do have a little bit a dryness taste, a stringency. It's, it's pleasant. It's really pleasant taste. I'm going to serve my team. I'm sorry, I'm going to run it away again. For those people who like the bingda, because the bingda, the food sample is also very soft, gentle, sweet, and the flora. Those people who like bingda, but the bingda, the poor sample, the authentic one, is very expensive. Okay? And in bingda, also have a lot of ancient tools there. Uh, then probably can consider this one. Uh, the one I would recommend is number 15. Because the soft gentleness and the flora flavor, on top of it, you will, once you drink it, it's very pleasant in your mouth. You will feel warm at the back and your body. Okay? Not because of the, of course, not because of the temperature of the tea is warm. It's actually it stimulate the, the warm energy in the body. Definitely, I don't think it's worth. Uh, it's less than the bingda. The presentation in flavor and taste are not less than bingda. Not at all. Design, 
The aroma definitely is a soft, gentle, has kind of bamboo and the pine trees in the forest, but more wood in the more woody side. Okay, the woody note comparing with the woody note and the leaf note, and then the leaf note is more greenish. Okay, refreshing, and this one still refreshing, but it's more subtle, relaxed, and zen in a way. It's zen taste. Okay, more natural but gentle, soft, not aggressive, and gently climbing in your mouth and play with your the test bumps. Okay, now I'm going to proceed with the second brewery. And the second brewery, actually, you can keep it slightly shorter than the first brewery, but if you like the stronger taste, maybe you can keep it in the same or even higher. No matter what, keep it lower than the three minutes. <laughs> the color remains as a light yellowish. And this is the color from the second brewery. Okay, it's still transparent. Clean like a crystal. It's just like you're looking at, uh, you know, in the diamond, there has one of the colors like this, peach color. It's so shiny, so shiny. Creamy sweet. And now the taste. Actually, from my tongue, beginning from my tongue, go under my tongue and go to here, and then coming in back to the middle. So that is the second brewing. With this uh, number 15, I feel comfortable to serve this uh, sample, especially the fresh sample to my parent law that they are over 80 years old. And uh, I do pay extra attention to serve to them. Okay? Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 so after all, the second yeah. yeah. is about for their yeah. health. Yeah. 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 Even though I have efficient times very close to one minute. I used it close to one minute, not exactly one minute, than earlier before. If I choose this door, it's not green. So basically, the flavor and taste from the second infusion is climbing up, okay, on the same direction, but not aggressive. It's still gentle, but gradually you can sense its assertiveness in terms of energy, flavor, and taste. That's all. So they gradually climb it up. It's very gentle. You know these old trees, those ancient trees. How do I describe the feeling? Their gentleness. You know, I almost can see a friendly woman stand in the forest smiling at me. And she warmed me up with her gentle smile and friendliness. If I, when I drink this tea, this is the metaphor coming to my head. Okay? It's about gentleness. 
Now we're going to prove the third infusions. The third infusions, I will try to bring it back to one minute brewing and a little bit more and see how it goes. The temperature is nearly 99 degrees. And also the gentle, soft aftertaste stay in my mouth longer than the number 17. So basically for me, uh, the rating uh, from the number five, number four, number 17, number 15, the number one is a 15, the, the number two is four, and number 17, even though it's a mean, the, mean chain, the first book, unfortunately now it stays on the third on the low. And I still have uh, several to taste, okay? So at this moment it's like a quarterfinal. <laughs> So you can see the colors from the third infusion. The, it's getting more yellow, a little bit more richer yellow, but still shiny, transparent, transparency and clarity us. Very good. And the flavor become richer, okay? In the in the warm sense, warm sweet sense. Oh, sweet. Yeah. The room where they are so the number the three the definitely is yeah. even sweeter. Yeah. The taste of sweeter yeah. is become stronger. Yeah. The taste yeah. and the flavor yeah. is still climbing. It's not finished yet. So till now, the, my testing evaluation of number four is uh, Yu Qian. Uh, Yu Qian, yeah. Number 17, Min Qian, the first block, the first block. So Min Yu Qian means the second block, and then the Min Qian means the first block, and now it's a number 15. My rating for these three will be the number one is 15, number two is four. Why four? Because of four, the energy-wise, the flavor-wise, the taste-wise is more assertive. Come out directly, just like that. But Min Qian number 15 so, is really uh, gently uh, climbing uh, and oh, make me just uh, feel comfortable. Now we yeah. So right now it's a number 15, number 4, number 17, no. the rating. Ah. And I still have several, I think I still have four to go. <laughs> and then I will, so till now we do the quarterfinal, okay? And I will, I will do another group of quarterfinal. And uh, hopefully it will come out with the uh, semi-final. I will not to get the, the so-called the, the final one because I need to check with the tea collector, the one who is responsible for the tea region, for the tea picking, whether he still has those.